Time to assemble our resin water feature. Now, if you missed part one, where I actually made all the component parts, these beautiful lotus flowers and um, the bowl, then I will put the link for you up at the top of the screen here. And uh, yeah, watch on. We're about to assemble it and get some water in this thing. This is all cured. I did give in and make another bowl. I wasn't happy with that one. This one is lovely. Right, I'm going to put it to one side for now because it's quite big and it's getting in the way. What I've got now is a load of flowers. I have got another one in curing in case I need it. I'm just not sure how many I need. Aren't they lovely? Really pleased with those. I did the same again, just went around with the silver and then just put a little touch of the champagne colour here and there just to give them a bit more variety. Now the other thing I've got here is a cup because <laughs> it occurred to me, I'm not quite sure how I was going to stick them all together evenly and then have them sit over the pump uh, and so on. So there's a bit of a, and I've made a mess, there's a bit of a thing to, around the whole assembly. So the first thing I want to do is make some holes in this because we've got to have room for the pipe to come out of here and the cable to come out and the water. And I need to do this without making a total mess of the cup. So I think I'm going to try and melt holes in it. So let's get something hot and we'll have a go. Okay, don't try this at home, children. Um, we are going to set fire to an electrical... Let's move that. <laughs> set fire to an electrical screwdriver. This one gets used and abused for all sorts of things. So I'm just using my little blowtorch to get it really hot. And then we should be able to make holes in this pot. Yep. Now obviously this needs to be quite a big hole because that pipe's got to go through it. So that isn't going to be big enough. I need to find something bigger, don't I? To bodge the hole with. There's surprisingly few metal things in this house. So I found this, which is meant to be for dipping things in fondue. <laughs> and what I'm thinking is I can push it through and twist. No, I can't. Okay, let's try this. Nope. Okay, back to the screwdriver. <laughs> oh. See if Mark was home with the van. We'd have a van full of like man tools, which would be far better for this. But let's prove that we can do it with pathetic little tools, shall we? No. Let's just go scissors. It's probably going to keep splitting the pot, but this is getting silly now. The struggle is so real. It really is. There we go. Doesn't look very neat, but nobody's going to see that, are they? That's the basis I'm working on. Now we're going to need some holes around the sides and these can be any size, can't they? So this is just to let the water in. So back to our little, little screwdriver. Going to need one for the cable as well, but that's easy enough. Yes, this is just a yogurt pot, by the way. Now we're going to need one for the, yeah, for the cable. Now this could do with being like a slot, couldn't it? Because I can't take the plug off the end. So let's see if we can go like so, and then pull it through and out. So there we go, that's pulled it down quite a way. Let's go through, there we are, look, that's worked. And I'm sure there's a much more professional way of doing this, far more. But like I said, nobody's going to see this bit. And you're not going to tell anybody, are you? No, say no, Tracy. God. Insanity gets to us all, you know, it does. Craft projects will drive you mad. Now, will the cable go through that? 
yes and it'll hold it quite firmly in place so nice new bottle it's a shame about the top <laughs> can't find my stash of new tops right let's first of all see where the um where the flowers the top flower is going to go and i'm going to cut the pipe down to a bit more than i'm going to need so we've got a bit spare to play with because the first thing is going to be to sit him on the top isn't it actually i'm going to need to cut the pipe down to shorter than oops shorter than that otherwise i'm not going to be able to put this down am i so let's just take it off to there for now that will still be longer than we need because obviously the pump's going to go on the end of this. Right, first thing I'm going to do is get this little guy on the top. I mean, I might end up standing it up on something, so we might not need those holes through the side. But they're there. They're there in case we do. Right, let's get this all UV'd down. I'm putting plenty in the... There's like a bit of a recess in the bottom of the flower, so we're going to put plenty of that on there. We're going to settle him in the middle. And I'm going to get a UV lamp under it. Now, to do this, I am going to be using a really small UV lamp because I want to be able to point it in quite neatly. Look, it's my... Oh, that's interesting. The top's acting like a fibre optic. <laughs> and the UV resin, there's plenty of it because it's running down the pipe. I can actually see it dripping out underneath. What might make sense is get my big, a big round one on it, mightn't it? Now look, I've got I've got resin all down the pipe. It doesn't matter. If I can get it at this sort of an angle, maybe if I fix the top petal like so first. So that's the way to do it. These are such awkward shapes. That's why they're so beautiful, isn't it? Let that drizzle down a little bit. I'm just going to work my way around trying to work out how to make these all stick together. Well, I tried to work out where the hell my clip-on UV lamp's gone, because that would have been perfect for this. I'm going to leave it at that in terms of the flowers. Yes, the sides look a bit rubbish, but they're going to be underwater if I... Because it's going to need a reasonable amount of depth, isn't it? So look, see where I'm going with this? I think that is going to be... That is going to be fine. Now, the pump. This will be the interesting bit. So, I've got some water. Try not to chuck all over the floor, because that's what I usually do. And we've got our little pump. Now, getting him onto the pipe, now I've done this, is going to be tricky. And also, I think the pipe needs to be a bit shorter anyway. So, guessing. So, this is probably a mistake. But we're going to try and push the little pump onto the pipe. That's actually about right, isn't it? Thereabouts, close enough, probably. Push it on a bit more. Oh, that was a good guess. Oh! Okay. You didn't see that, did you? Um, anyway, the pump is in about the right place. We have established that the pump is in the right place. <sighs> Nearly. Should have done that first, shouldn't I? Okay, people, are we ready? <laughs> now, it really looks as if it could have done with another flower in there, but as you can see, there isn't really room for one. Um... I think it might spoil it. I don't know, but we can come back to that later if we think, because it's a bit lopsided without, but hey, the cable comes out that side anyway. Now, the centre of it is actually leaning slightly, so I probably could do it kind of to one side. I don't quite know how to straighten this up, actually. See what I mean? This is leaning slightly, so that would make that the front. But yes, I've put the cable to come out there. Twist, twist, 
another cable slot. Oops. <laughs> this plastic cup might not have been the best plan, actually. Uh, the UV resin really didn't want to stick to it either, did it? So, I don't know. I'm sure you lot will all come up with a better idea. It could do with... I could have done with making a resin container, couldn't I, really? Yeah, and also noticing that... Actually, you know what? Ooh. Ooh. We put it slightly to one side. The centre flower is leaning, you see. Then this bit at the front, maybe that's what you do when you put it together. Let's trim off the uh, bit from the mould shape. Maybe that's what you do. You take a final one and you put it in the front. The siding the pump a bit. It's a shame the pump's black, really. But it's the only one I've got. You can get them in white and clear. Anyway, stop waffling and uh, let's uh, get some water in it and plug it in. Now, I'm quite expecting to get shot in the face with water. Let's see. <laughs> Getting ready to switch it off quick because I might have to do so. The pump is on its lowest setting. Right, the water isn't deep enough. I'll go and get some more water. Right, here we go. Ah, it's not over squirting, and it is running down through the petals. I thought I'd have to put something in here. Oh, isn't that nice? Let me just get the camera down. And I think, yeah, this flower can stay wherever it goes. I was thinking of putting some little, you know, little plants and living things in here, but I think that's rather nice as it is. Could possibly turn the pump up a bit more, in fact, but actually, how's it even making its way down? Oh, I see, it's going... It's actually going back down inside the pot, mostly, because that's the way the petals go. Interesting. I did want it to come out and over more. So I'm going to take this back off and let it dry. And I'm going to put more um, UV resin around the top so that it doesn't go straight back down into the pot because I want it to come out over here. So I'll be back in a bit. OK, let's give this another go then. I have basically tipped a, <laughs> uh, tipped a load of... UV resin in there and it's dripped everywhere and it's probably all over the pump. Uh, anyway, let's just see if it's directed the water more where I wanted it to go. So, uh, the cable was coming out here instead, wasn't it? Little flower under the front. There we go, there's water everywhere. <clears throat> right, cross everything. I just want it to flow kind of more down over the little flowers. And uh, yeah, that's just a bit, little bit more water. Don't shoot me in the face. I have tried not to disturb the pump control, so hopefully we're okay. Uh, it's running down the outside of the pot. That's better because it's gonna. It's got water movement out here more now. I was still really hoping I'd get more of it coming down over the flowers. But actually, they need to come in a bit, don't they? So if that does happen, it doesn't run out over the, you know, over the sides. But let me just bring you down a bit, actually. Let me just get this. See, the water's now running down over the sides. You know what? That'll do. I'm quite pleased with that. It's just so that it gets a proper full current around it. Now, this flower, I'm still, the jury's still out on what to do with this flower. I might just sort of wedge it <laughs> somehow like that. Yeah. Oops. No, maybe not. I don't know. I might do a bit of surgery with that later just to cover up that plastic pot. But I'm pleased that the pump, despite being black, doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. The water is now running all the way around. I might get a little drill and make some holes in the ends of these petals just to make it come out further out. I don't know. Right, we're now in a better light in my kitchen and I've put this on a piece of black card so that you can see better. I have turned the pump up quite a bit and the water is now coming out over the petals in some cases, but quite a lot of it is still running down the outside of the pot, but we have got a proper circulation. I'm tempted to put some little floating plants in here. Anyway, 
Um, as you can see, it's all looking quite pretty. And that little bit of silver in the bowl and the little bit of colour on the edgings of the edging to the flowers has done it wonders. Now one thing I will warn you against, this last flower, because I was impatient, I stuck it in with super glue and whilst it's stuck beautifully it's gone white. I'm going to disguise that in a minute with some UV resin I think, because um, it will disguise, but uh, don't use super glue. Now, as you can see I have turned the pump up quite a lot, there's a fine line between it too much and too little. When it was on lower it just ran down the pot, whereas as you can see here it is splashing out over the other flowers a little bit. I turned it up a bit higher because this is quite a powerful little pump and I ended up with water splashing everywhere. So you just have to fiddle with the little little dial on the front of the pump until you get what you want. But there we go, I think we have a successful water feature. Now, I did mention um, about putting little critters in it. I think all I'd risk is um, a couple of little plants and a few snails. But I would leave it also a few weeks to make sure there's no fumes coming off the resin because I wouldn't say it's particularly, uh, you know, wild, uh, critter, critter safe. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, you wouldn't want to put epoxy resin in your fish tank. Anyway, apparently poly uh, polyurethane is safe for fish tanks. I shall experiment with that at some point in the future. What do you think then folks? Let me know what you think of this video. Um, in particular, what do you think of my uh, little creation? I think my message to you is do have fun, have ex experiment. Does a piece of resin need to be based just out of one or two moulds? Can you, you combine and do something interesting with it? And can you bring it to life with, in this case, water? What about other moving parts? Hmm. There's a thought for you. Is there anything else that you could do to create moving parts? You can get little motors for all sorts of things and little lights. Have a look at model railway scenery kit. I'll be interested to see if any of you beat me to it <laughs> with any other bright ideas for these sorts of techniques. Uh, on that point as well, I put a light base under this, can not I? Ah, OK, so for the outro, you will see a light base put underneath this and we'll see what that looks like, too. <laughs> if you like the video, then if you give me a thumbs up and yeah, let me have your comments. I'd love to know what you think of this and if it's given you any flashes of inspiration, I really would. So take care, everyone. I'll see you for the next video. And uh, thank you all so much for watching, subscribing and to my channel members, of course. Thank you all so much. Bye, folks.